Welcome back to my channel. Zero would like to welcome you guys. Say hello. Say hi. Oh my god, he put his paw up. Okay. Anyway, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I did this eye look in one of my lip tutorials, but it was done very poorly and quickly. Um, it was really unintentional. Like, I really didn't think about the eye look as I was doing it. Like, I literally just, I was like, what can I do with my eyes that's fast? So all my eye looks don't look the same because all the lip tutorials that you've been seeing lately, I filmed them all on like the same day and like the same... Is this in focus? I can't tell. It's It was all recorded at the same time so like I just wanted to change my eye look so I didn't look the same in all the videos. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the eye look I did and then I redid it yesterday and I got a lot of good feedback on Snapchat. A lot of you guys were like, I want to see a tutorial and I was like, okay, let's do it. So, um, yeah, if you want to see how I did this, um, mermaid eye wing thing, I don't know, then just keep on watching and thank you. Okay, you guys, so I already did this side, so I'm just going to do this side for you. Um, I already did my foundation, I, well, BB cream, whatever. I applied the, um, I'll show you, um, I applied this bad boy, the NYX BB Cream and Nude, and since it's a little too light for me, I mixed a pinch of the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Foundation, and this one is in light medium sand. Um, so I just put that all over my face, and I already did this side, so now we're gonna get started on this eye, and I will guide you. So. Uh... I'm just going to do a really large wing, no big deal. Zoom. So this is the wing. If you're not really into gigantic wings like this one, you could do a smaller wing. It doesn't really matter. It's totally up to you. Um, I use the NYX uh, felt tip liner in royal blue. I really like the formula and I like, I usually don't like felt tip liners, but this one isn't complicated to work with. Um, yeah. I'm going to go on top of that with my beloved Metal Crush eyeshadow and Paranoid. I love all these shadows um it's from Kat Von D looks like this let's get a little close up Let me. it's a really beautiful metallic blue shade and all the eyeshadows from this line are bomb I have all of them and I cannot live without any of them so especially Thunderstruck you should know that I'm gonna take this brush from NYX it is the number 10 brush I think it has a 10 on the back so I'm guessing it's the number 10 and I'm just gonna lightly I'm just gonna grab a little bit and I'm gonna pat pat I'm not gonna do this I'm gonna pat it on top of the blue eyeliner to intensify the color so and again I'm pulling my eye it's a bad habit I'm sorry if it bugs you out but it's something that I just need to fucking do, so. We have that set. Blah, blah, blah. Now that that's done, we are going to add a little bit of lash glue. Lash glue, so sorry. Glitter glue. La glitter adhesive. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. We're going to apply that on top of the blue. I'm going to take the number 15 brush from NYX and just dab a little bit on there and put it on my eye. I totally forgot this step, but I realized it after I put on the eyeliner, so it's too late. But in the original photos, I put the Kat Von D um, high voltage eye, um, eyeshadow primer first, and that definitely makes the eyeshadows and eyeliner um, appear much more vibrant. So if you're doing this, apply a primer. If you have this one, use it because it's bomb. I fucked up and I didn't apply it and I'm way too lazy to redo it so I'm not gonna fucking do it um now I'm gonna take this glitter that I am obsessed with it is the NYX glitter I think it's in the color crystal it doesn't say anything on the bottom it just says 07 so 
I think it's crystal. I looked online and it looks like the color crystal. So I'm going to use that same brush and I'm just going to apply it on top of the glitter adhesive. And it will look like this. I'm going to take my favorite fucking liner of all time. You already know which one it is. If you don't, then I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's the Tattoo Liner and Trooper. Um, it's the fucking most precise eyeliner I've ever used. Um, I prefer, well, I used to prefer um, gel liner over any eyeliner, but I haven't, <gasps> I haven't used, um, eyeliner since, I mean, uh, I haven't used um, gel liner since I started using tattoo liner so I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys could see better and I'm literally just gonna apply this on the outer corner of my, my wing so I'm just gonna that blue area is gonna become black okay so now that we have the eyeliner nice and ready we are going to apply a little bit of this mermaid eyeshadow from NYX um, in the inner corner right here oh are you seeing this Crazy. And okay. I am going to use um, the Sexy and I Know It lashes from Violet Voss. They look like this. Um, I'm really liking their lashes. Um, if you watched my um, previous, 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 previous video, um, you saw that I really like the I Donut Care lashes. I really suck at putting on eyelashes, and these the the band is really thick, so I think it makes it easier. But it's not uncomfortable. Like usually um, lashes with thick lash bands, um, they're really uncomfortable. At least I think they are. But these they're really comfortable. They're easy to put on. They're cruelty free. They're not obviously not mink lashes. Can't believe there's like brands out there that are saying cruelty free mink lashes. Like. Yeah, fucking right, bitch. That's like saying cruelty-free grass-fed beef. Like, no, no, you can't. So, sorry, that just crossed my mind. Had to say something. You know, you know how these schools. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of lash glue on the back of my hand and pop these motherfuckers on. I'm gonna put a little bit of lash glue. Okay, I think I jinxed myself because I literally just had the hardest time putting on these eyelashes but again I am like facing the wall instead of facing my vanity like my vanity is right here there's like a wall right there and like I just have like a little table right here with all the stuff I'm using and then like I have my vanity on this side and I have the mirror right there so I'm just I'm a mess I need to get my shit together I need to have a proper setup but I don't so just work with me um Anyway, I'm gonna apply this NYX slide on pencil in extreme. Oh no, that's not the color. The number, the number, the color is jet. So I'm just gonna apply that on my waterline. Apparently, a, peop a lot of people don't like the really heavy eyeliner on the fucking underneath your waterline. I got so much hate on one of my lip tutorials on Instagram. Like, so many people were like, oh my god, I don't like your eye makeup. And I'm just like, I didn't ask you. Now that I have that down, I'm going to go in with Iggy from Kat Von D. Um, it's the Metal Crush eyeshadow in Iggy. Very nice metallic green. It reminds me of like a St. Patrick's kind of green. I'm going to use the same brush I used earlier and that's the number 10. It's like a flat brush, but it's not like completely flat. It has like, it's like a chubby flat, if that makes any sense. So I don't know. It just allows you to get more product on the brush. Um, I like it, so I'm just going to apply that on top of the eyeliner and a little bit. I'm going to just go down a little. Okay, I need to add more green. It had blue on the brush, so it's like turning into this like tealish color. I'm, I'm kind of fucking with it though. My fox. 
Okay, there we go. So, uh, it still looks a little bit more teal. I'm gonna apply it on this side. No, no. I'm gonna apply. There we go. And now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the glitter. I'm not gonna add any adhesive. I just put a little bit on the cap and I'm just gonna apply that. So this is pretty much the complete eye look. Um, I am going to apply some lipstick and highlighter. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use uh, the Balm Mary Luminizer. Um, and I'm gonna use this Luxie brush that I got at Gen Beauty and I don't want to use I well I haven't been using it because they're so fucking pretty and I wanted to get product shots, but I never got them So I'm just gonna fucking use it and I'm just gonna You're probably thinking like why isn't she using Thunderstruck and that's because I'm running really low and I want to save it for like the good stuff, you know what I mean? I hit pan, it was a very sad day. Now I'm just going to contour using the Shane and Light Eye Palette, you already know this. I'm going to use this Lexi brush again to contour my nose. I've never used this brush to contour, so uh, wish me luck. I don't even think this was meant to use for contour, but I'm just trying new things. Okay. Just blending it out with my beauty blender. I didn't add any product to it. I'm just going to use the Skuller over here with the Luxie um, 650 brush, and this is the Precision Angled Contour Brush. And now I'm just gonna blend it out with the BD Blender. Because no one likes a fucking harsh ass contour. And this is pretty much it for the face. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching, if anyone watches this. Um, I really like this eye look. Um, you could do it without lashes. You could do it with lashes. You could do it with the big wing. You could do it with the tiny wing. Um, you could skip the glitter. You could add more glitter. Um, you could do whatever the hell you want. In my own focus, I can't tell. I'm not wearing my glasses or my contacts. Obviously, I'm not wearing my glasses, but um, my bangs are growing back. They look pretty decent now, right? Now that they're growing, yeah? But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys don't have me on Periscope, you guys should uh, add me because I've been doing a lot of Periscope. I do at least one Periscope per day, so it's a really fun way to like talk to you guys. And we talk about random shit. It's not always about makeup, so uh, I will add all my social accounts below um yeah i really appreciate you guys for watch taking the time to watch this um thank you so i will see you next time